Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna react to Taylor Swift style. I know I've been jumping around a, li a lot lately the last few weeks, going back to some old country Taylor and uh, checking out the Red album since we've done almost nothing from that album. So I thought it would be fun to come back to 1989 where the bulk of my reactions have been so far. I'm not in a hurry to get through this album because I like it a lot and it seems to be a really popular album for her. So I don't want it to be over, but I don't want to ignore it either. So I figured let's jump in and check out another song from 1989. If you like what you see on my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Over 70% of my views come from people who are not subscribed. So if you're seeing this because of the YouTube algorithm or um, you're just basing it off of previously viewed videos, consider subscribing if you're watching a lot of these reactions. It does help a lot. If you want to support me further to keep the channel around long term, I have links in this video description for my Patreon, my Twitch Prime, and my merch store. So I've got the video pulled up. When I picked style, I did not know there was an official music video. I thought I was picking a non-single. So apparently this was a single. I've got the lyrics pulled up as well. Let's go. Whoa. There's a cave in my mind. It's where the ocean lives. Hey. minor F or E minor C. I like that guitar hook. It's simple, but it's catchy. I thought it was going to go somewhere else. That's really cool. Hello, model. I, this is not what I was expecting at all. I don't know what I thought I was expecting, but pleasantly surprised as, as what seems to be the case a lot of the time. Um, yeah, musically, I, I guess I thought it was going to be more guitar, but I, because I forgot, how did I forget that this was like her big pop breakout album? So, of course, it's got more of a poppy sound to it with kind of that techno bass drive melody of the A minor F or version of that. Um, but then on top of that, there is a little bit of a fun guitar lick. Um, I don't know what I thought a song called Style was going to be about. But uh, let's look at the lyrics and see what it says. I mean, the video has style. The video is cool as shit. I mean, obviously, Taylor Swift, very attractive. She's got another uh, good-looking guy in the video, too. Um, I talk about looks in media a lot just because that's just something personally for me that kind of was disappointing growing up is, like, thinking it's all about story and character and then realizing every person that's ever been in any movie or music video that I've liked has like been a supermodel. I don't know. It's just, there's just a lot more about looks than people talk about or realize. Um, so style, midnight, you come and pick me up, no headlights, long drive, could end in burning flames or paradise, fade into view. It's been a while since I have even heard from you. And I should just tell you to leave because I know exactly where it leads, but I watch us go around each time. You got that James Dean daydream look in your eye and I got that red lip classic thing that you like. And when we go crashing down, we come back every time because we never go out of style. We never go out of style. You got that long hair, slicked back, white t-shirt. I got that good girl faith and a tight little skirt. And when we go crashing down, we come back every time. We never go out of style. So style is kind of two things. Number one, it absolutely is about style and look and vibe and feel and like sex appeal. And you showed up in a badass car at midnight in the dark, right? So there's a lot of style with that. And then... Us going out of style, no matter how far away we get from each other or how much, how bad we are for each other, it's gonna, always going to be our thing to reconnect every once in a while because that's what we do. It's never going to go out of style. So it's a fun, clever, interesting take on a double meaning behind that word. So let's keep going. Those are different colored eyes. Like practical magic. This is a beautiful video though. Like, even forget the people, just the scenery, the effects. That's, I love those effects of the superimposed projector photograph over each other. I think that's really cool. And he showed up in that midnight again, just like this song. Okay. Um, yeah, really, really solid song. I'll say again, when it comes to like musical assumptions, me as somebody who did not listen to pop, you know, kind of assume it's kind of, it was a less than, right? Because it's not as hard as some of the metal or the rock or the instrumental, instrumentation, guitar-based music that I grew up on, right? But this is a way more mature sounding song 
for her than like uh, teardrops on my guitar. Now, old me would say, oh, which one has the real, the real instrument? Which one has the guitar? That's going to be the better song, right? But this is a really good example of kind of checking your assumptions at the door and giving a song or music a chance uh, to present itself and prove itself to you. And um, yeah, this is a, just a way more, this is a very mature, well-made, well-produced song and the and again another perfect video doesn't hurt either beautifully shot beautifully conceived um yeah it's just a gorgeous video and amazing effects all around that's the, the glass stuff is really cool um and it coincides with the song because the song is about that double meaning of style which how something or someone looks and makes you feel let's take a look at this other verse really quick so it goes he can't keep his wild eyes on the road takes me home the lights are off he's taken off his coat I say, I heard that you've been out and about with some other girl. He says, what you heard is true, but I can't stop thinking about you. And I said, I've been there a few times. Uh, been there too a few times. And it can go both ways. Uh, friends that, uh, you know, they have an attraction that they can't help, but they know that there's no long-term uh, future there. You know, you try to date and see other people, but sometimes you get infatuated, you get attached, and you reconnect, and it can happen to anybody. Um, what was this bridge? Take me home, just take me home. Yeah. Out of style. Hmm. So now it's like, now that we've, you know, enjoyed each other's company again, and reality sets in and we remind ourselves that we're not, that it is maybe all style. Maybe it's all surface level. Maybe it's attraction and there's nothing deeper. And, um, you know, maybe you can think more clearly after you've spent time with that person again, you know, I don't know. Let's figure out some of that riff. I really liked that guitar. That's that riff. So we've got it. So that 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 lick that I really liked was just D to B or something. I couldn't get, it took me a minute to get the strumming pattern down as far as when she changed the chord because I'd only heard it right now, but. Below that is just the Let's see if we can combine them. Let's do two guitar parts at once. So it's Let's get rid of the pick. It probably sounds better. I'm trying to hold the guitar so you can see. And then the chorus is just D to G. Well, then there was a, there was a breakdown. The bridge is E minor. G, or no, was it? It was E minor, A, something like that. I have to hear it again. And then the chorus is D to G. And then it goes back to D, and I thought it was going to go to B. I thought it was going to go there because a lot of songs do that. All right, another great song. Great lyrics and melody and music, uh, simple but fun, and uh, another high quality, beautifully shot music video, which I always look forward to. So I was pleasantly surprised to know that there was an official music video. I thought I was just picking a random track off the album. Uh, so definitely like this song in the video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what this song means to you and uh, what other reactions you want to see from my channel, whether it's more Taylor Swift or any other artist. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.